Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I will be reviewing universal phone lenses that I bought off of eBay about a year or something like that ago. It was bought around 2019, I can't find the exact date, but let's get to it. First thing I would like to show you is this pouch that they come with. And you can see already that the pouch is very, very dusty. It simply it was standing around and was simply catching dust. And that's how it looks like. Inside seems like it's some sort of slick material that doesn't get dirty. So I'm assuming it's going to be just okay pouch to have your lenses. You get three lenses and a clip that you use to attach them to and then attach to your phone. The clip is very simple, it does not have any sort of glass and it attaches to your phone like so. The three lenses that you get are macro lens, fisheye lens and wide angle lens. And the way they work is you simply sort of screw them on to each other and then you screw them on to the clip. In my honest opinion, the quality of these is fairly simple. I guess if you were to drop them, they could potentially break. So be careful how you store them. Also, one thing that I want to show is that this clip that it comes with is a little bit too strong, in my opinion, especially since you are attaching it to the corner of your screen. There might be some possibility to crack the screen. Honestly, I am not feeling comfortable with the strength of this clip. One thing that I would like to mention is that on the clip, the side that touches your screen actually has some sort of soft material that I guess it's possibly there to lower the strength that, that's applied to the screen so it doesn't crack and possibly to not scratch the screen. One thing I really want, quickly want to show is that you can clearly see that there's nothing in here. There's no lens on this. This is just a mount. As I've said, the way you attach these to the mount is you simply screw them on. Each lens has some text written on it. It's fairly hard to see, but if you align it properly as opposed to the light, you will be able to read what the exact lens is for. I am going to try my best to show you guys how the text looks like and the exact specification of each lens. The way the wide angle lens and the macro lens work is you actually attach them onto one another by simply sort of screwing them on. So you screw the wide lens to the macro lens and that's how your wide lens works. The biggest lens is actually fisheye lens and this one can directly be attached or screwed on to the clip. Okay, it's time to do a lens demonstration. First I'm going to put on the macro lens and show you guys how this one looks like. Very simple, screw the lens on, but be very careful, these screw points can't possibly break if you force them, so just try to feel for the screwage <laughs> going in, that's all it is, just try to feel that you screw it properly. Okay, let's mount the lens, and the first thing you'll notice is that everything gets blurry, here we go, as I move it closer, you will start to see clarity, and look at this, 0 0.67 times wide, that's the wide lens, and you can easily and clearly read this text. Honestly, this lens is really, really good. I would like to show you is the wide lens. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually put a couple of objects on my desk, just a little bit out of the field of the view, and you'll see once I attach the lens, you will be able to see all those objects in the frame. So here we go. As you can see on the left side I have one lens and on the right side I have this sort of uh, glowing figure that I bought and you can clearly see it in the frame. But if I remove the lens none of those are visible. It does a fairly okay job. Also I forgot to say that these lenses do come with caps. You get two caps because you are supposed to attach the macro and the wide lens together and then put the cap on them. Now let's test out the fisheye lens, which is actually my favorite. I really like the way this one looks like. So once I put this lens onto the phone, you'll notice how we get this very cool fisheye effect. The thing is, you also have to adjust the zoom, the focus on your phone and also around the edges there is some sort of blur. This could be simply because the lens itself is a little bit dirty, uh, although I doubt it because I did clean it before this video, but that is how it looks like. And you can clearly see on the left side something red. That is actually my audio capture card and it's actually very, very far away and 
you'll see me moving my hands around and here's the controller I'm gonna move it close so you see how it all looks like very very cool effect so final verdict a review a summary these are very cheap lenses for your cell phone and I think they are actually a great gift for somebody who is aspiring photographer and wants to take some photos with the phone they have and you know how they say the best camera is the one you have with you. For the price of two to three dollars, you get three lenses that certainly serve their purpose and can be used in a bunch of occasions. Honestly, if I'm taking my phone with me, these lenses are just fine. As far as the quality goes, I think that the macro lens probably does the best job as it does what is supposed to. And as far as the wide and fisheye lens go, I think they are fairly decent to use them and have some fun alone or with your friends. The other day I was actually messing with my camera. I used the VGA settings combined with fisheye lens. It actually gave me the feeling like I'm back in the 90s. So it's up to you to mess around and see what kind of effect can you achieve. Do I recommend you to buy this product or maybe to somebody as a gift? Sure. Since it is very cheap, I think it's a great starting point if you want to take photos with your phone. That's about it guys. Thank you for tuning into this really short quick review. I will be doing some other reviews of the things that I bought off of eBay, China especially, since I wanted to showcase them to you guys. And that's about it. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Priest out.